Hello and welcome to this short tutorial on how to create consistent characters using Midjourney and Insight Face Swap. A couple of general points before we start. Firstly, try to use a so-called archetypal character. An archetypal character is one that Midjourney recognizes from its description and for which it tends to generate similar looking individuals. For example, prompting for a 30 year old Scandinavian blonde haired school teacher will generally tend to give you a similar result. Another archetype might be a 38-year-old professor at MIT, clean-shaven, curly dark hair, wearing glasses. Using such specific prompts will result in more consistent individuals being generated that will already look very similar. Right, now that's out of the way, let's get on to using Insight Face Swap. The very first step will be to generate a base image. This will be a plain portrait on a white background with the prompt being the kind of archetypal prompt I discussed earlier. Remember to try and use the same prompt in all of your images. Structure it in such a way that you can just add on a scene and an action to the end of the description. In this case, I'll be using the MIT professor example mentioned earlier. As you can see, we have generated an image with four individuals and we need to choose the one we like best. Then save that image to your hard drive. In order for the next step to work, you have to have Insight Face Swap installed in your Discord server. If you have not done so, please go and look on YouTube for a tutorial on how to do that. Next, use the forward slash command in the prompt bar and look for the option that says Save ID. Click on that and a pop-up will open which will allow you to load the image you saved on your hard drive. The next step is to enter a name for your character. Keep it short and remember that it's case sensitive. Press enter and wait for confirmation that your character has been loaded. For the purpose of this demonstration, I will generate a set of images with different faces, just so we can see the effect of face swap a little better. I am prompting a 35 year old man with dark hair and wearing glasses, clean shaven, is walking towards the camera. Here we go. We are going to upscale all these images and for every time we want to use a face swap, we just need to right click on the image move the cursor down to the apps option and choose the inside option the rest is done automatically as you can see the result is quite dramatic it is taking the face of our base character and transplanting it onto the image in front of us fantastic before i go one more tip generate all the images you're going to need for your story ahead of time then collect them up and head over to pika labs and start generating videos for your story Good luck and have fun. That's about it for this short tutorial. Thank you for watching.